I just thought I'd tell you about the situation that's been here at Primary Park over the last month or so. It's been really difficult. I've had to go back to being a junior house officer for medicine, um, which has been just required. I'm not doing my operating as I normally would, resecting bowel cancer. Um, instead, I'm trying to help support on the wards. Um, it's so important for people to stay at home, wash their hands and just isolate as much as possible. And I really do appreciate how hard it is. Homeschooling is also quite a pain for me too. We have unfortunately seen a very high number of patients being admitted. Um, probably a higher number than we did in the first wave. Unfortunately, over the last month or so, we've seen a lot of deaths. And thankfully, in the last couple of weeks, we've started to see patients getting better. Some days you just go in and you are just shocked by what you see. It is not your normal type of ICU patient. There is, I'm used to seeing ill patients, but there are so many more patients and these are very sick patients. What I find most difficult at the moment is that, you know, when patients, when it's clear that someone is approaching the, uh, the end of their life, you know, we, we can facilitate family members coming in if possible. But quite often, in, you know, the way things go, you just don't know most of the time. You don't know where someone's at and how they're going to, whether they're going to deteriorate further or whether they're going to improve. And, and it, it hits close to home when you, you know, you see someone improving and then all of a sudden, you know, things go very quickly the other way which we've been seeing a lot of the times and um, you know I've seen it myself you go in to review a patient and you find out that they've passed away and yeah and, and you know that the family members haven't been able to see them and it's just it's, it's horrible it's really really horrible. The medical short stay unit is our Covid ward some of us haven't had Christmas or New Year and have worked here to look after patients myself I've made sacrifices I've moved out of home to protect my family so I go home stay by myself come back to work and it's continuous and relentless. So what advice would you give to people sitting at home now who are considering going to going to a dinner party or going out to a shop to buy clothes or what what advice would you give to those people? Just don't. The advice is there for a reason. You do not want to end up on intensive care as a patient. All we ask is that you stay at home, follow the government guidelines and stay safe, maintain social distance and wear your mask. The more everyone stays at home, the better we can conquer this virus and get back to normality and start doing what we normally do. Stay at home, stay safe, protect your family, protect your friends, protect your NHS workers. You might not be working directly in the hospital or with patients, but everyone doing their part, staying home, following the rules is actually helping. Covid hasn't gone away, the numbers go up, the numbers come down, but it's always there, it's always the presence in the background. We've done everything we can, um, the staff are absolutely exhausted, they will always give 110% all the time, but there is a limit. So please can everyone stay at home, please can everyone follow the rules, and please can I see my mum soon? Sorry.